respect between the two fighters as we're about to get going here in the flyweight division. Pierce Cunningham in the black allure board shorts and the black trunks. We have Matthew Friel, our referee, about to call time in. And here we go. Matthew Friel, one of the most decorated young flyweights in Irish amateur MMA. Fantastic on the ground. A purple belt under Kieran McFadden, a four-time NI Open BJJ champion, multiple titles in mixed martial arts spanning across two weight divisions, but Cunningham wanting to come in, get the scalp of Matthew Freel. Cunningham, of course, coming out of a great gym in Yoda MMA under head coach Ryan Roddy. Right now, finds himself pressed against the cage with El Wapo pinning those knees in. And Freel was stalking him in the early going there, keeping him constantly against the fence. Freel's had a, a tough time of it recently with close decision losses. Most recently lost a unanimous decision to Gary Rooney at Cage Legacy 15, contesting for their bantamweight title. A big win tonight. Could really start momentum again for Matthew Freel. Attempted Harry Ghost there, didn't quite convert it to a takedown. Good head positioning here from Matthew Freel, right underneath the chin. Some shoulder strikes, another underutilized strike in MMA. Again, as we said in earlier fights, to the uninitiated, it may not look like a lot's going on in this position, but for anyone that's ever been there, this is the most grinding aspect. This is the most draining aspect of mixed martial arts. When you're trying to pin somebody against the wall, they're trying to push against you. It's, it's akin to uh, an unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. And we have a takedown. Nice work there. Breen tried the, the shelf takedown, ended up getting taken down himself, but could sneak out here again. Needs to be wary of that leg, just pass it through. Very savvy jiu-jitsu. Into the crucifix, kind of quasi-crucifix position here is Matthew Freel. He does have his right arm is impeded. He's the arm pinned, but Cunningham could utilize his hips there to create space, which he has done. Heavy hips from Matthew Freel, threw them right back. Cunningham doing a great job to get back to the feet. Needs to turn in towards Matthew Freel here, or he's in danger of having his back taken. Keeping the pressure in that hand as he tries to rotate. Laces that leg beautifully. There's also a, a calf slice available here to Matthew Freel if he were to reach back and pull at that calf. Trying to get, is that an arm triangle from the bottom from Matthew Freel? It, it does look like he's, he's thinking about it. But transitions beautifully, uses it to he transition it. Yeah. into the back. 10 seconds to go. Could switch to the arm bar here, triangle. Matthew needs to be, and I say this with the greatest of respect, Matthew needs to be a little bit tighter in consolidating those positions before he goes for the likes of a submission. What happened there was he left a little pocket of space that Cunningham was able to exploit and get and turn it into an advantageous position, leaving Matthew on the back. So a little bit more calm, a little bit more fluidity, a little bit of position before submission in the second round for me for Matthew Freel. Uh, uh, and that would stand him in great stead to win the fight. Ready to get back in for the second round now. Both men still look really fresh. So Matthew Freel, a former Cage Warriors Academy flyweight champion, a former Akuma flyweight champion, former Akuma bantamweight champion. So does have that championship pedigree. Trying to, to get back to that and a, a breakout performance again here would do that for him. Nice work of the fans from Cunningham. I expect him to go low and now over the top. So he's landed a couple of kicks already this round. That body kick he opened the stands a bit was really useful. Now, pressure against the fence. Matthew has that hand around the waist. Beautiful ankle pick. Cunningham not giving it up at all though. Freed trying to get back to that ankle pick. Cunningham wise to it, goes for the wrist grip. They were not giving in to this takedown attempt here. Fighting the hand, but here comes another ankle pick attempt. Also while reaping the leg here just to distort that balance of Cunningham. And again, as soon as these two guys reach the cage, it becomes an absolute war of attrition, Mark. Absolutely. 
And this is this tactical battle that's difficult to portray if you haven't experienced clinch wrestling at some point or another. Can't quite see, has Freel got double underhooks in this position? If he does, that back trip takedown is more than open to him. Just use a little pop off the cage, bring your opponent over your knee. He, I think he may have now, they were hand fighting up until this. He has got it now. He's nice. got options here, yep. feeding off those knee attempts by Cunningham. Midway point of the second round, midway point of the fight. Freel just landing enough strikes to keep himself honest here so Aaron Wallace doesn't separate them. And There's the takedown take down from Freel. And he's got a full minute here with which to work, Mark, so that he can be a little bit more methodical. And yet, this is what I like to see him doing. He solidified the position first, as opposed to just trying to hit that submission straight away. Keeping the hips nice and low, working methodically. An incremental progression, but Cunningham equal to the task here. He's restored his guard. I don't know about that, but he's progressing in wee tiny bits. <laughs> nice little heel strikes. You don't often see that in mixed martial arts. It's more of, more of an irritant, but it opens things up to you. Yeah. Watch out for the potential for the arm bar. You can see the switch in the hips from Cunningham. There it, there is. it is. Oh, and he rolls free. Freel scrambling here to try and defend. He's defending well, but Freel's doing the right deep. thing. Yep. Keeping everything ah, nice and compressed. Out. Needs to be wary of the triangle now as well. Great work by Freel there. Remain calm under pressure. As opposed to trying to, to, to rip his way out and maybe leave something in. He's put himself back in that position. Both yep. arms nice and in the center. Again, that's that purple belt jiu-jitsu under Kier McFadden. Another Bring the hands down a little bit. Why not come over the top? And it's potentially, if he's two rounds down, go for it. You, you it's all to play for. Exactly. He, he does need to go for it now. Maybe not necessarily swinging for the fences, but swinging for his opponent, certainly. Mm. Nice lead hook, check hook. And this is not where you want to be. Matthew Freel bearing down on top of you. And lesser fighters would have been standing square there. Matthew Freel had the stand staggered so that he wasn't going to get a leg scooped. Very, very smart again. Kept good posture to avoid the up kicks. Correct. And now, what? Well, has to be wary of the triangle yeah, here. Cunningham's working for the triangle. Well read by Freel, stepping over the leg. Here we go again, another attempt at the triangle. Momentarily. Freel stepped into combat base to alleviate some of the pressure that was being presented by the triangle. It's a risk here for Cunningham to reach under, but he's going to eat some strikes if he does, and there they are. He's trying to use that underhook to sneak out the back, but Freel needs to use that wizard to clamp down. That's great work from Cunningham. Really, really smart work. We saw what he was doing, but he did it so technically that it worked for him. His issue now is he's, he's likely a couple of rounds down. Mm. The clock is ticking and he needs to generate some serious momentum. Up kick from Freel. Seemed to just glance down. I seem to glance the, the face of Cunningham. Can't quite see from this position, but is Freel trying to isolate the arm for the arm bar here? He's rotating his hips, trying to create that distance, mm -hmm. and I think you're right, he is climbing. But he was just impeded by the cage there, Mark. There is a momentarily, I thought he may have been going for the double arm bar. It's a seldom seen submission, but it is there if you have the dexterity for it. Trying to switch and to the arm bar. seems to have it. That arm is deep. If he can get his hips extended. If he can just peel that hand away. Matthew Freed's smart enough to know that it wasn't there for him. Changes the position. Could take the back here. Great ring craft on display. He's converted that a, a failed submission attempt into an advantageous yeah, position. Very smart. Could go for an inverted crucifix position here. Cunningham trying to stand up, get himself. Nice, very nice roll. Yeah. And from here with 30 seconds to go, Matthew Freel in the dominant position, landing strikes. A great position to close out a fight. Again, into that modified crucifix position, isolating the arm. It's not quite full crucifix, but he does have the dexterity to isolate that arm. 
Cunningham trying some open hand slaps the year there, Diaz style. But it might not be enough at this late stage. Matthew Freel finishing the round with a plum and surely en route to what is a decisive decision victory.